Yeah, I think we've had a pretty uh, positive few weeks uh, recovery from, from our last series stop there in France. Um, girls finished pretty strong there and I thought uh, it gave us lots to build off going into the World Cup. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we spent some good time reviewing, looking back in the season, just the areas I, uh, I feel we could have done a, uh, been a little bit more clinical in and in attack and defense. And uh, you know, we've taken those things forward in those last few weeks trying to sharpen them up for, uh, for uh, the knockout World Cup. Interesting format with the knockout this year at the Rugby World Cup. You really have to be on. You can't have any moments where you're down. Mm. You know, how does that play into your training? Well, you know, you, you, you know, for us, it probably means we, we just, you know, we have to uh, need our more experienced players out there and uh, really leading, uh, leading the charge. And you know, with only with only four games to the to the final, um, you know, probably have to shorten the shorten the bench and, and make sure that we got good rhythm with our with our uh, our best uh, uh, most consistent unit going forward. Only three returnees uh, from the last Rugby World Cup. I know it was five years back in 2013, but only three returnees. We've got a, quite a young squad this year. What have they learned this season? And uh, you know, what are you, what are your thoughts on on the overall 12 that's been selected? Yeah, so I guess uh, learning from the season is you know we did it, you know we do have a younger um, a younger group than than we've had for a few years. Uh, some of the retirements um, it's given some of the younger ones an opportunity to step up and play bigger roles, bigger roles in, in, in the on field in terms of uh, you know making making some decisions that you know in the past would have been left up to some of the senior players. Uh, so you know they, you, you, you got to learn from that and you know no there there's no perfect games but there's lots of opportunities to, to learn from and we've, we've we got some hard lesson, uh, lessons this year. We lost a couple like several games at the buzzer or you know just not managing the the clock the way we want to and and they're they're harsh lessons lessons but they're lessons that you know the senior players went through uh, you know in their when they were at that age so um you know it'll hold us uh hold us in good form moving forward into the into the future towards tokyo which is you know which is you know the, the real pinnacle event this is a real checkpoint for us on the, on the way there the world cup um to, to really measure ourselves and, and again uh, see what we're like in those pinnacle events and how we perform uh, the, t the 12 we've uh, uh, selected, uh, you know, I think they're been the most consistent performers in, in the in the year. Um, you know, they've got a good mix of uh, some young girls that we believe are going to be the future of the, uh, of the program, uh, even beyond 2020. Um, so we, we've got a good mix of, of speed and, and you know, several players now uh, like Bianca Farella and Charity Williams that can play in the backs and forwards. Uh, you know, we, we've, we've tried uh, some different positionings in the in the last uh, couple events in the series, and, and we believe we've 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 got the we've got the uh, the athletes to compete, and really is uh, you know we're excited about a chance to at another chance and just getting out and, and showing you know what we look like as a, as an attacking seven out there. You've been involved in the game of rugby for a long time, all around the world, in different uh, you know arenas and competitions and games and tournaments and. Near sold out AT&T Park downtown San Francisco. You know what does that do for the game of rugby, and uh, what's the excitement like for that? Well, I think you know the more exposure uh, the sevens gets, you know, the, 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 you know, goes in tandem with just how fast the game's growing. You know, it's such an appealing sport. I think it uh, really appeals to North American sports culture here. So it's a fast game, lots of lots of amazing athletes on the field, uh, hard hitting. Um, and, you know, it's a highly skilled game. Um, so I think uh, you know, for fran fans who haven't seen it and see it for the first time, are going to be really excited. Uh, for those returning ones, it's just it's just building up the knowledge of the sport. You know, I hear it every time we come back from an event and then meet someone new that hasn't seen it before. Just how how fascinating they find it, and I think it's a real entry point for uh, to getting people in the game uh, in Canada. Whether they go on to play sevens or fifteens, uh, it's not really important. It's just the fact that we grow the game and use it, use sevens as a vehicle.